What is going on guys? It is Duke and welcome to today's video. So happy to have you guys here. That's right, we are back with some more Rise of Civilizations content here, which we produce every single day. So, hey, if you like what you're watching, go ahead and subscribe. If not, it's cool, whatever. Today, we're going to be doing a couple different things here in the video. As you can see right there, we have 107 roses. So we need to go ahead and use them and uh, we need to try and finish off this Pledge of Thorns because... Uh, We've been doing a little bit of grinding, so we need to get in there and take care of all these. Looks like uh, looks like Genie went ahead and is uh, launching an attack on uh, uh, Barbarian Fort Level 1. That seems pretty crazy, but let's go ahead. We got all kinds of these uh, uh, roses here. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. It looks like we are able to go ahead and uh, get the adornment. We did get the... Uh, there we go, the decorations. So it looks like it is a permanent one, which is cool, but we also were able to go ahead and get those Covenant uh, Epic Sculptures. So that's cool, so we need to jump in, we need to use them, of course we do. Maybe we won't use them, but we'll see what we got going on. All kinds of roses being used up. So let's jump into our commanders here. And if you watch the channel, you know where our uh, commander sculptures are going to be rolling to. As you can see right here, let's move my floating head out of here. So right over here, we're on the left side now, which is pretty crazy. So got to love technology. As you can see, we are so close to uh, getting our maxed out Boudica, unlocking the expertise. So let's go see skills-wise where we're at. It looks like, oh, see that? Look, we got to get our head back over here. So we're at... Uh, None, because I used them in one of my latest videos. I used them in one of my latest videos. You can see we have 18 heads. We need to get that to 50 because then we can uh, max out her four skills and then get her expertise skill unlocked. And Boudica is just a boss. I love her. I'm pretty sure everybody in the game loves her. Let me know if you don't love her because we need to have a serious talk. I need to six Booby HD on you and he'll set you straight. But... She's so versatile. She's a pretty cool uh, commander. So, and she's easy to really go ahead and level up. So, whether you're free to play, pay to win, she's one that you can go ahead and use a lot. China baby, uh, launching a rally. Here we go. But between uh, her and Lohar, they're just a great pair. They're one of my favorite combinations in the entire game. Some people talk about whether it's uh, you could have Joan and Scipio, Joan and Richard. Uh, you could have uh, Minamoto and uh, Sao Sao. So there's so many different uh, combinations you could have. You could even have Mark's Woman and Centurion. Maybe you love those. Hey, we're not, uh, you know, we're not here to judge your commander love. So, uh, but like I said, let me know some of your favorite pairings. I love to hear that. A lot of people are always asking me who they should pair. Not like I know all the answers, but, you know, I try and give a little bit of help with some backup down in the chats. So I'm sure you guys are always down for that. But what we really want to do is go ahead and uh, collect our loot because we are addicted to collecting loot, of course. But right now we have uh, two farming queues out. It looks like uh, somebody just came home. So right now we're at 10 million food, 11 million wood. So we need to go ahead and find some food because I like to keep a balance because uh, that's how crazy OCD I am. I don't know if you guys are in the same boat, but... Can't have an unbalanced uh, chamber of uh, storages, so you need to have it all locked in the same. So, okay, it looks like we got a uh, a level five cropland here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, run up on it. We're gonna come through with Sarka. We're gonna get rid of uh, Constance, and she is heading down there. So, uh, it looks like we're good to go. So, we have two extra cues. What are we gonna do? We can do a couple things here. So, we can go ahead and uh, let's grab some barbs if we can. We're gonna run out to. Oh, I love him. So it looks like Hot Rider still sitting down there. He's, he stakes out there. It makes me nervous sometimes because he just sits, but he's uh, keeping guard. So I kind of love it, but he keep, He reminds me of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2 when they're hanging out overnight in the uh, the gas station. And uh, they wake up, and he's still sitting there staring out the window. Same exact place he was when they went to bed. That's kind of a uh, Hog Rider over here. I call him Hog Rider. That's not really his name, but uh, it's a cool name if it was Hog Rider. But, so we're going to go ahead and find some barbers. I want to get a little bit far away because we don't want them going back. So we're going to head out with, of course, Lohar and Boudica. And then uh, we're going to run out. Who do we also want to run out? Nah, the, you know, JC is not really uh, a wilderness guy. So we're going to run them out. So we're going to run out two on there because we can run both. So it's kind of like what we spoke about in uh, a couple videos ago about uh, farming barbs with friends. So right now... Um, 
Like I said, I'm just hopping on. I don't think there's too many people active right now. So instead of uh, uh, calling out their names, what I can do is go ahead and uh, shoot this out to right there. So let's go ahead and jump back in. So looks like barbs are heading there. So if anybody wants to join, you can go ahead and join. But if not, we have a, uh, a little group of our friends heading over there. So we have four commanders headed over that way. Two primaries, of course, and two secondaries. And uh, OV Danny, we're coming by this flag here. So we're going to go ahead and grab this uh, level 23 here, Barbarian group. And then we're going to go to the level 24 Barbarians. Of course, we're going to drink some coffee because that's what we do at night. We drink coffee. So some guys drink the G Fuel, but I always got to drink that coffee. So we're going to do that, and then we'll look around and see what we got going on. We got a level 21 crew in there. But... uh. Do you guys love like chain barb farming? Uh, do you send out two? Do you send out more? Sometimes I see guys here in the uh, in the alliance sending out all kinds of uh, sending out all kinds of uh, queues. So maybe they have five March queues still uh, open up, so they run out five. Just because you can go ahead and you can you can just slam a ton of different barbarians doing it this way. Uh, also, we got to go in and check out our. Um, expeditions i was called on the carpet by one of the uh the viewers today just today he went in there he's like yo i know you're a busy guy you said that you work 10 hour shifts monday through saturday you know you got your family you're coming home to you're doing this little youtube thing but you need to you need to catch up on your expeditions and i do i do get that i do on i do believe that i do need to do that that is me and my slackness so let's go ahead and don't let them get them too far Sometimes I need to pay attention more because I'll be kind of uh, farming barbarians. And next thing you know, I let one of my uh, cues walk like halfway back. And then I tell them, yo, go back and get this barbarian uh, group. And they're like, why'd you let us walk all the way back to the city when you could have told us when we were right there? So I do need to pay more attention to that. But sometimes I, uh, I rabbit trail. I am a uh, habitual rabbit trailer. If you watch the videos, you know that I tend to rabbit trail all the time. It's kind of what I do. It's what I'm known for. So it should be called, uh, instead of like Duke Gaming or Duke Mobile Gaming or uh, Clashing Duke or whatever you want to call me, it should be Rabbit Trail. Rabbit Trail Gaming. So uh, let's get back over. Okay, let's get these guys over here before they get back to the city and before they get angry. So we're going to run out. Okay, there we go. So things are going good. Uh, we got a lot of our action points still hung up. So uh, we're not worried about that. And here comes another. Wow, look at that. We got like a herd of barbarians here so we can go ahead and slam most of those if we take a look to see where we are we still have hundred and three uh, in that one and we still have hundred and thirty four now the beauty of uh, having a maxed out Lohar is that one of the talents here are that they can go ahead and heal up the troops upon finishing a battle so sometimes if you watch you can see he was at 134 he might dip down to 133 132 but then by the time he's getting ready to leave and head back he will go ahead and bump up that uh, number uh, higher which is always great so once upon leaving so let's go ahead and get this and then we're going to roll back in here as you can see uh, doing all kinds of uh, barbarian farming let's go ahead and check out the reports as you can see here Looks like uh, Zao Sao Minamoto 2.3 and uh, Lohar and Boudica 4.5. So that is the magic pair. Now, I probably could switch them up, but I get nervous about doing that. I like to have my, my people stay together. You know, I don't, I don't really like change, but if you guys really have any... Um, you know, uh, things to say about that. If you have any uh, suggestions on who I should be sending out or how you got, how you split up, especially when you're barbarian farming. Now, my main uh, peacekeepers, of course, are Lohar and their Boudica. But if you have suggestions on maybe you should split them up, maybe you should pair different pairs to get uh, different levels of experience points, that'll be cool. Drop that in the comments down below. But that's kind of how we roll with this. And it looks like, is there a level 25 are they going against? Okay. So that's a level 25 group right there. So let's go ahead and spin them back out and then uh, get them rolling here again. So just nonstop. And let's go ahead and see what we got. So yeah, so you, as you can see right now, chain barbarian farming with just two different cues. It looks like for the most part, Lohar does not really use, lose many troops. As you can see, he's at 130 now. Let's see if we can see one that he goes back up because of the healing power, which is a beautiful. And then we got uh, 129. It looks like this one is a level 25. I think this is this 25. Yeah. So this is a level 25 barbarian group. So let's go ahead and get back in and see. We're at 129. I just kind of curious to see when the battle ends and then what it jumps up to. So right now we're down to 127, 566, 129. 
as you can see the healing is uh, excellent especially if uh, if if it's just yourself and not really getting into getting being able to jump in with a bunch of people this is a pretty cool way to do it now I got all kinds of potions so if I wanted it to so 129 133 so that's a pretty awesome that's a pretty awesome jump right there so let's go ahead and get these level 20s and then we'll uh, spin it and then we'll drop these guys back in there so I could do this all night because if we go ahead and look at my items, I think it's uh, my others. So we have uh, 500 and, wait, 394 50-pointers, 8,400-pointers, 11,500-pointers, and I got 1,000. So that's pretty crazy. So what are we holding out here? So we're holding on to 531. So if you really have a block of time, it's pretty smart. Maybe before you go to bed at night, uh, maybe before work or school, after work or school, you're just sitting around just chilling, drinking some coffee. This is probably a good thing to do. If you do this every single day, you're going to really be able to max or, or get the, the maximized uh, uh, amount of experience for your guys and your commanders. And as you can see, this is probably something that I should have done uh, more often. I should have done a lot of uh, sooner because uh, people are always ragging on me about my commander uh, levels. Now I can see when you can see when guys really put a lot of time into uh, the game and into their commanders, which is, is really a good thing. You should, so especially if you have it. And this is really easy to do other than action points uh, and a little bit of troops here. I probably should be running back here and uh, uh, healing these guys up, but so much going on. So we need to get back over here and uh, get to these because you got to kind of uh, have that quick balance and uh, be able to be quick on a draw here and pay attention you need to focus and right now there is a load of barbarians out all over the place it looks like dirty south he's uh, he can hunt in a few minutes going to eat dinner so it could be a valentine's dinner today is valentine's day here in the states uh, so maybe dirty south has the old uh, valentine going on me uh me i had some um what did I have? Some I had some vegetable fried rice for dinner, so that was cool. But that's a good thing. So we're farming away, uh, barbarians. We're trying to get these, uh, trying to get these commanders up, up, up. That's a good thing. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a pretty cool thing to do. Just go ahead, uh, knocking out these guys, doing their thing. And we will catch you guys later.